all of you, you have already made references about who I am. I'm a woman, I'm short, and I have bad vision. <laughs> what if you got to know me a little better? That I was raised on Long Island. I'm close with my little sister. I love my dogs. I'm a singer. I'm here studying Spanish. I'm an ACH Forever Fellow. I'm a university scholar. I want to be a teacher. And I'm an RA in SAG. So what do these things tell you about me? I'm close with my family. I love music. I value my education. I'm hardworking. But do you still know all there is to know about me? And maybe from me standing up here, you think that I'm confident, comfortable speaking in front of people. Would you consider me to be professional? But I want to know if I add one more piece of information, if it changes how you all think of me. I have eight tattoos. Some are big, and some are small. Does this fact make you think that I'm a troublemaker, or maybe a hipster? Do you think that my tattoos were impulsive actions, or that I spent time thinking them over? My journey of body modification began just a week after my 18th birthday. I told my parents I was going out to dinner with my boyfriend, when in reality we were going to a tattoo shop to get my ear pierced. Since I couldn't hide my ear from my parents forever, I told them once I got home. My father reacted calmly and without judgment. My mother, on the other hand, freaked out. Her main concern is that it would get infected and I could get sick. For two weeks, she didn't have a conversation with my face, but rather with my ear. <laughs> At our next family gathering, she showed it to my grandma, trying to get her angry, and she brushed it off saying, Oh, Jean, it's cool! I got my first tattoo about five months later. I had been thinking for a while about something in my life that really meant a lot to me. Something that meant enough for me to want to have it on my body forever. Since I would be leaving for college in a few months, I decided to pay homage to my family and all the people who have influenced me in my life by getting the lyrics, You'll be in my heart tattooed on my left side. My boyfriend and I spent an entire weekend stopping into every tattoo shop we knew of or could find in the area. I wanted to get to know the person who would be helping me recognize the special people my tattoo would be honoring. Some places were really helpful. They sat me down, asked me questions, showed me books and examples, and really cared. Other places brushed me aside, ignored my questions, and really made me feel uncomfortable. I ultimately decided on a woman who went by the name of Gordy at one of our local shops. I remember mulling over the options of when and how to tell my parents what I had done. I think they were aware of my fascination for tattoos and figured I'd get one someday, but I don't think they saw this one coming. I told my parents separately, and I think this was for the best. And again, my father reacted calmly and asked me questions like, did it hurt? And when I told him that it did, he couldn't wrap his head around why I'd caused myself pain for a tattoo. But he never passed judgment, and we ended the conversation with a hug. I'll never forget the look on my mother's face when I lifted my shirt to so show her the words on my skin. Her eyes got big and her jaw dropped. She was in absolute shock. But not once did my parents seem disappointed in my choice to get any of my tattoos. They never punished me. They never looked down on me. They understood that the choice that I made was for me. And while they wouldn't make the decision for themselves, I have every right to. I'm beyond thankful for their reaction and their understanding. I'm still the same person I was without my tattoos. I'm still their daughter. So whenever a friend expresses concern about their parents' potential reaction to them getting a tattoo, I always say that if my mother could handle it, then any mother could. And for a while, I thought I was right. Until I read this article. This story expresses a mother's feelings about her 21-year-old son getting a tattoo while away at college and returning home to show it to this woman took the personal decision her son made as a personal attack. She ignored him for three whole days in fear that her emotions would get the best of her and she would explode on him. She said that she would have preferred for him to come home with a pregnant girlfriend than a tattoo. She laments what she believes to be the loss of his opportunity at future careers. She knows she's being unreasonable, but continues to blame him, saying, you couldn't have done anything to hurt me more. She believes her son is different now, that he's changed, that he's desecrated his body. And I could easily come up for a rebuttal for each of these arguments, but more than that, I'm interested in what her son is feeling. 
I believe, and the article states, that he didn't do what he did to hurt his mother. He didn't get a tattoo maliciously. He did it for himself. My mantra was, better to beg for forgiveness than to ask for permission when getting tattoos. If I were to ask permission from my parents and they said no and I did it anyway, that would be blatantly disobeying. If I told them after the fact there's nothing they can do but forgive me, move on and continue to love <laughs> Unless you're this guy's mom. I wish this family the best and I hope that this mother comes to her senses and doesn't ruin the relationship she has with her son. And maybe she should talk to my mom, as I have seen great personal growth from my mom in the past four years since I started getting tattoos. She was upset one day because the shoes I was wearing to church showed the quote on my foot. She wanted me to change, but I didn't because the shoes went so great with my dress. She asked me after Mass if anyone had said anything to me about it. When I nodded, I could see the look on her face. She thought she had won this argument. But I turned to her and said, yes, one of the old ladies told me it was cute. <laughs> Now, I believe the most stunning tattoos I have are the gorgeous roses on the back of my thighs. These are the only ones not done by Gordy. These are actually done by my mother's cousin. He's a really well-known artist and he travels a lot for work. So one day he posted on his Facebook page that he would be in New York City. I was scared too, but I told myself I just had to get the guts and message him to set up an appointment. I didn't know the next time he'd be back in New York. He was so sweet and wonderful and understanding and helped me create a design that was exactly what I wanted. So since it would be family tattooing me, I figured I should have family by my side for the process. So one day I was sitting in my dorm room and I called home and I told my mom I had something to ask her. I explained to her that Matt, her cousin, would be in New York for a week and I had booked an appointment with him to get a tattoo. And then I said that I wanted her to be there with me. These roses would symbolize the pairs in my family. My mom and dad, me and my sister, my grandparents, my dogs. I also wanted my mom to see what it's like to get a tattoo for her to see a nice shop and to meet the people. I think before this experience, she thought I got tattooed out of a van in some alley. <laughs> so she was quiet for a minute after I asked and I was very nervous. She thanked me for thinking of her and said honestly that she needed some time to think it over. Knowing my mother, I knew the two things she was going to do. She was going to ask her best friend and she was going to pray. She called me back a few days later and said that she would love to join me. And the experience turned out to be a great one. We got to spend time together and she got to see a really talented professional tattoo artist in action. I could tell she was impressed. Now these roses hold an even more special meaning. Now I could stand up here and share with you all the stories behind all my tattoos, but rather I want you all to reflect on your own life and experiences and really decide if there's anything you want permanently on your body. I'm not here to tell you that people with tattoos are cooler or better than those without. I'm here to tell you that your body is your own, and how you choose to honor memories, special moments, or loved ones is totally up to you. Don't let anyone's judgments get you down. Thank you.